Hey, Richard. How are you? All right. We're talking faucets today? Well, it's springtime. Many people are going to turn on their outside garden faucets, and many times they leak. So I thought we'd do a little care and feeding. Yep, always All a right. leak. Here's Thanks. a typical garden faucet right here. And I bet you 75 or 80% of them in this country, when you turn them on, they leak like this. Okay. And I don't think people realize that the fix is relatively simple. So it's not a leak that's coming down at the that, hose attachment. Right. It's, it's somewhere in the body leaky of that? from the bottom. So I'm just going to tighten this up and just show you what I mean. Okay? And what are you tightening? I'm tightening up the bonnet. Now let me just turn this off again and I'll show you in a cutaway. Bonnet. So in a typical outdoor faucet like this, you can see there's full water supply right here and there's a washer that sits against a seat. And now when you turn this knob, there's a stem that rises. See how it's coming up and it lifts yeah. that washer off the seat. Opens it up. Right. Now the top part, I'm going to pull this right up. The top part is a thing called a bonnet. Oh, so that's keeping the stem into the fixture. Right. So this is this bonnet that holds the stem in and has a bonnet packing. Yep. And over time, you know, what happens is as this thing goes up and down a bunch of times, this starts to get worn and loose. You hold that. So many times you can just tighten up, tighten up this top nut, which thereby compresses that bonnet again to have it stop leaking out from here. Right. But sometimes that's not enough. It's just so worn. So you called it a bonnet, what was the, the black a part? A bonnet packing. Bonnet packing. Okay. So if so, it's not enough, what are you, are well, you replacing they, it? Well, they have kits like this that you can buy at a home center that's got a little bit of everything in it. And if you can find the right one, you can do this and just pull this apart. You see it has a little nut right here. Loosen the nut. Take the handle take, off. Right, take the bonnet packing, bonnet nut off, remove the bonnet packing if it's worn, and then a new one goes on top of it. Oh, now that's the simple way, right? right? But if you really want to make your own, don't overlook regular Teflon tape. <laughs> you knew I was going to do something like that. Right, because Teflon tape, you take what you need, take enough, now take it and twist it. So make your own... Make it your own bonnet... Your own packing. Packing, okay, and now... You'd really do the same thing, just dance around like this. Enough time to build that. Right. And it's amazing, the 75% of the, the valves on the outside of houses that really could use this. Okay. okay. And then just compress it. So you're replacing that with this. Gotcha. Okay. okay. So one indication that it's the bonnet is that it only leaks when this handle is pulled all the way up. Gotcha. And you just tighten it up or put the new gasket in. But you often will see a leak when the thing is off like a drip like that. So right now, this is all the way down, but it's not holding back That's right. the water pressure? Which suggests that it's the washer that is at the base of the stem. So you can see it right here in the cutaway. There's the bonnet, here's the stem, here's that washer. And it must mean that that washer needs replacement or the seat at the bottom is scored. Right. So for doing that, you turn the water off, loosen the bonnet, and back this out. So now the stem comes out completely. Okay, it comes out completely. And now you can see this is a Phillips head screw. Now this screw has been in there for a long time, so it's really important that when you get the right size screwdriver and then you get right on top of it and get it really solid with solid pressure and then you back it off because it can snap off otherwise. Yeah, okay? Because yeah, gotcha. it's a brass screw, it's been sitting in water its whole life. Soft screw, welded in place yeah. from the mineral. Okay, and if it breaks off, you can drill and tap it, but. You don't want to get into that if you can help it. So now that comes out, and there's our washer. Can I see that? Okay. So you might see a score mark on the bottom of the washer. It could be gone, too. All right. So we want to we want to take this washer right. off of this brass screw. Well, there's a kit. Try, try this one. What does that look like? Find its replacement. That one goes out. This one right. comes in. Yeah. Let me see if I can get this. Is there a top or a bottom? Yes. Well, there's, you can see sometimes there's print on one side, so you don't want to do that. It's, there's a smooth side. You want the smooth side to be presenting itself to the seat at the bottom. So now we go back in. Well, that's a perfect fit. Yeah. Okay, again, be careful on the way in, and then snug that up, and there's the new washer, but that right. may not be enough. It could be one more thing. Okay, you wanna hold that? Sure. So this comes, this washer sets down against the bottom. There's a seat at the very bottom, and that's milled in at the factory, and that can wear out over time. So they actually make a tool called a reseeding tool. You can see there's grinding teeth right here. It allows you to come down inside the valve and grind that piece of brass down at the very bottom to get a new surface. So you want something that's flat and you want some fresh metal. So the washer can go right against it. Wow, nice. All right, who knew? Thank you, Richard. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. 
so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.